Hey, Pete here from RC Car Action. And in this video, we'll take a quick look at some tools to add to your collection to make your life a lot more convenient at the workbench. So whether you've got a kit or a ready to run, chances are your model came with some tools like these. Usually some uh, L wrenches for the hex fasteners on the car, a four-way wrench that will take care of any nuts. This guy has ends for nuts, also usually an end for setting the turnbuckles if your car has them. We'll get to what this guy does at the end of the video. And this, uh, because this is a Traxxas Slash Toolkit, this will install the uh, antenna nut. Now these tools are fine. They will let you maintain your ready to run, or if you have a kit, these will get the kit built, uh, but not as easily or as conveniently as you might like. And certainly, if you're gonna really enjoy RC, spend time at the bench, you're gonna wanna get some better tools. And number one on your list should definitely be a nice set of hex drivers. These happen to be from Dynamite. There are lots of brands that make them. And with a hex driver, you're gonna get a longer lasting hardened steel tip, a screwdriver type handle that makes things much easier for wrenching on your vehicles. Much more convenient, much more com uh, comfortable. Definitely put these number one on your tool shopping list. Next thing I recommend getting, uh, if you've got a kit that you're assembling, uh, but even if you don't, because eventually you're gonna to wanna to mount a body, if you're mounting a Lexan body, what you need to install that properly is two things. One, a set of scissors for trimming Lexan. And you also want to get one of these, which is a body ream. And the scissors are important because on a Lexan body, although a regular pair of scissors will cut the material just fine, you're not going to get around the corners properly. And the long tips of the scissors, uh, in addition to not going around corners, are going to dig into the areas of the body that you don't want to get that you don't want to get scuffed and scratched up. It just makes a mess, and bodies are not cheap. So definitely invest in a pair of body scissors, which have shorter jaws, and the jaws, as you can see, have a slight curve to them and that lets you cut around corners much more easily, which you will definitely do if you're cutting out a buggy body like this one. You've got these tight curves to get into or cutting around wheel wells on a, a sedan type body. Any kind of Lexan trimming, you definitely want to have the proper tools. And the ream is for making the holes in the body. Uh, this one has a nice cap, which I like because the tips are very sharp. You can see these two cutting edges on the uh, ream. And as you push the ream in farther, of course, the hole gets bigger, but this will make a perfectly round, smooth-sided hole. And you can use a drill bit for that, but the drill might wander across the surface, mess up your body, or, like, or the hole will be not quite centered, so your body won't fit right. So uh, invest in a good quality ream for body trimming and mounting. I also like shock shaft pliers a lot. These are a must for me. Um, the thing with shocks is you've got a smooth shaft that has to stay smooth and nick free if you want the seals to keep the oil inside the shock body. And uh, to do that, you can hold this with a pair of regular steel pliers, but the steel jaws will roughen up that surface. So what you want to do is get shock shaft pliers like these from TLR or these from Protec. And these are aluminum and the aluminum is softer than the steel shaft, so you can grip it tightly without worrying that you're going to mar the shaft. Uh, these both work equally well. They're nice tools. Uh, the Protec has some additional features. You've got these openings here that are for the caps on the shock. So that makes it a lot easier to tighten and loosen if you've got a stubborn uh, shock cap. Uh, the smaller size opening is for the bottom cap if you've got that type of shock. And this little uh, tooth here, the steel piece, is for setting up the uh, rod ends. Uh, the ball that pivots inside the rod end. You can squeeze that in with pliers, but you, you mar up the plastic rod end and it's just not a convenient way to do it. So with this tool, the rod end goes right on there and when you squeeze, it pops the rod end ball right out. You can also use it to install the ball. That goes there. And you squeeze that guy in and it's installed. No fuss, no muss. Another item you're gonna want is a pair of not diagonal cutters, but flush cutters. These look like diagonal cutters, but if you look at the jaws, you can see that the jaws are smooth on the bottom. The, they meet precisely, and there's no uh, lip or edge there. So with this type of jaw, when you trim a piece of plastic off the sprue or the tree, it won't leave any waste behind. For example, we can trim off this servo mount right here, and you can see how if I just twist this off, it's gonna leave a nub of plastic. But if I use these flush cutters, You can see how clean that is. There's barely anything there. I could trim that off with a 
exacto knife if I wanted to, but that's much my, much nicer than what you would get if you just twisted that part off or used a diagonal cutter where you've got a big old nub of plastic on there. You know, nobody wants this. And finally, back to this guy from our ready to run toolkit. You might be wondering what this does. It looks kind of like a turnbuckle wrench. That opening is too big and it's very skinny. And that's because this tool is actually for working on these drive shafts. And what it does is it lets you disassemble these yokes. That let you flex the part open. I'm trying to do it for the camera here. And then you can get that guy out. And to put it back together, the same tool will help you out there. So that's it. I hope that helps you out. These are some important tools to get for getting the most out of your wrenching time, make it more convenient, more fun. Check out your local hobby store. And thanks for watching here at RC Car Action.